Hello and welcome to another video. This is a MZN707 that I got in, had delivered in uh, August. It's now October and I've got a silver one of these and I always wanted a blue one in really good condition. And unfortunately the pictures on eBay didn't show the scuffs on the corners. But other than that it's a pretty nice, a really nice uh, unit. Uh, but it was sold as spares repairs and when tested only with batteries, it reveals that the machine has internal mechanism faults, including the eject process. Once a disc has been inserted after several tries, the playback would skip and jump at regular intervals. No other functions were tested. Well, I got it, put in a battery and a disc, and I got nothing out of it at all. So today I'm going to have a go at repairing it. And if I can't do it, maybe somebody out there will know what to do. So I'm just going to put in a brand new battery from my usual bulk buy Amazon batteries. That was noisy. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to buy those. Get in ahead for those and the AAA ones, the double A's and the AAA's, A's, uh, because Christmas is coming and you don't want to be caught without batteries at Christmas. So let's put a disc in. Got my demo disc here. Let's see if we can get anything out of this at all. No, nothing at all. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the eject mechanism. Let's have a look at the battery contacts. They've been cleaned up. You can see those there. So someone has cleaned them up. So my guess is there's battery corrosion inside the machine that I'll need to clean up. So nothing at all for that. Let's take that out and put it back in a couple of times. I said after multiple attempts it would play. Okay, so I'm going to take the battery out. I'm going to take the bottom of the mini disc off. don't think I've repaired one of these before. I might have done. Where did that screw go? Now I found it. Okay, so just four screws at the bottom. Now I've done a unit similar to this and we had, I had a problem with the um, breaking the eject mechanism on it. I don't quite know how I'm going to overcome that problem. Let's move it around to see. I can feel it a bit loose. Right, so we're going to have to So it's loose at this end. Oh, there we go. And there was a spring in here on the other one I fixed, which was a different model, but similar, I think. Oh, well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, so we've got a lot of corrosion here. So I'm just going to get a bit more light on this, won't be a second. Okay, I'm not sure if the lighting is going to be any good for this. I'm just going to move it a little bit. There we go. So this is the corrosion we're looking to clear up. It's very hard to do when I've got a camera in front of me and I'm peering around the camera while I'm doing it. So it's very manky. Let's try to get as least as possible inside the device. We'll scrape the worst of it off. Unfortunately, which I didn't realise until just now, is I've run out of vinegar. I used it to clean something around the house and forgot to get some more vinegar. So I like to use vinegar to neutralise the... Because vinegar, because vinegar is acidic. And I like to use vinegar to neutralise the alkaline, which is what corrodes it in the battery. Oh, that's came off. Now what would be ideal... Look at that. So is that just corrosion? It's taking a little bit of the gold off by the looks of it. 
Nothing we can do about that. Let's get straight in the bin with that. Now ideally, what I'd like to be able to do is get this contact out. But in order to do that, I've got to desolder this part here, and I'm not going to jump through all those hoops to give it a clean up. So I'm just going to do my best here. I'm going to give it a good spray with my isopropyl alcohol, which I'll put a link to. It's this stuff here. Really good. It's got a pump action spray on it, and so a bottle lasts absolutely ages. So there's a link in the description for that as well, if it's still available on Amazon. I've got one of these fibre tipped pens, uh, fiberglass tipped pens, which are really good at cleaning up the um, uh, electrical contacts. But they do tend to leave a bit of fibre, fiberglass in the device, but since it's not working anyway, it can't be any worse, can it? Try and get rid of as much of that alkaline and corrosion as I possibly can. Because once I've got it working, I want it to stay working if I can. Don't know how much of this you can see. Okay, to summarise where we've got to, we've got nothing working at all, even though we've got a uh, rechargeable battery with 1.25 volts uh, on the multimeter and the cradle which is also showing um, 3 volts um, power going to these pins here and there's the charger, charger for the battery is in there so it will actually charge uh, and a, a rechargeable AA battery but we've still got nothing coming in here and we've even got the LED which is for this unit which I had for my other one and we've still got no power at all. So let me try and figure out what's going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is test whether um, the power on the negative side of the battery going to the circuit board and the positive side is so that we know the connectors for the battery are okay running into the circuit board. So I've, uh, and I'm not an expert in these things, but I'm going to see what other troubleshooting I can do. For a penny and for a pound, I'm going to undo all these little screws here off camera and see if I can get to see what's on the other side of the board. I think what I'm going to have to do is unclip this ribbon cable here, leave this one attached so I can lever the board up that way. So I think this clip is holding the board on just here. Oh, hang on one second. I'm not going to be able to move that up unless I can detach this power here. I don't suppose that's as easy as just pulling it out, is it? Oh, the problem is my soldering iron is in the garage and I don't want to have to go get it. I would have thought though this would slide out. This positive battery contact would slide out of the uh, battery holder. I 
Okay, so yeah, it was just stuck. This was binding onto the plastic there. And the whole thing popped up and you can see how dirty it still is. So I'll give that a clean up later on. The main point is I know there's power going through the circuit board and through this pin here. So I've never opened up something as much as this. Oh, there's another ribbon cable just in there. I don't know whether you can see, probably not. So just there is another ribbon cable, which I think I can only get to from this end. So I might have to take this side of the case off, this side here. <coughs> but before I go to all that trouble, let's just have a look and see what we can see. I think that's the disc um, lid closed mechanism there. And that's where that's where the power goes from this contact down underneath the circuit board. Just to there, I think. Can you see that? Get the focus in over there somewhere, that'll do. So it goes to there. So I'm gonna test that with a multimeter. I'm not sure I can do it on camera, but I'll have a go. Okay, so we've got continuity running between the um, the battery contact and the other side of the board. Next thing to test is continuity from this battery contact. It runs down through there, and I think this is it there. So that's con continuity. I've got the lid off. This is the controller board for this which I don't think I'll need because I've got the remote control I can switch, I can plug in. I've cleaned up all the uh, contacts as best I can. Okay, so I think I'm done here. I've got the, the whole thing as far apart as I am prepared to take it. Any more and I'm just gonna damage something. I'm not gonna be able to get it back together again. So the controller board is off, um, which is the that part of the mini disc. I'm just gonna put it all back together now, screw it all in, and I'll have reseated some of, I've reseated that ribbon cable, and this ribbon cable for the controller board. In actual fact, I'm gonna clean that up. Let's see if it looks dirty. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna give that a gentle wipe over with a cotton bud um, and some isopropyl alcohol, because sometimes they just need reseating. Okay, let's put it back together, Ian. more problems with springs. This spring here became detached. I had to look back at the video footage to figure out what happens. So it goes on this little lug here and it goes under this little piece just there and then under this little piece just here. So if you're repairing one of these and that spring goes pinging off somewhere, that's what happens. And then we've got a I'm just putting it all back together now because I can't fix it. I can't do any more. It's anything else is beyond my skill level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it back together and hope that me cleaning and reseating these ribbon cables and cleaning up the battery contacts and everything else is going to make it, can't make it any worse. That's the plan. So why, have I, why am I thinking I need to put another um, ribbon cable in somewhere? I've just got the funny feeling that I've, I've forgotten something here. So I know there's a ribbon cable on the back panel here, the controller board. That goes in just there, so let me get this seated properly. Close enough. A bit too late for me to adjust the camera angles now. That goes in there like that. 
and it goes down there like that. Doesn't look as if it did properly to me, so I'm going to do that again. That's better. Now we've got the the screws for the lid are here. Okay, so that's the lid back on. Finally, a little dust out with my brush. I'll tell you what, we'd better screw the circuit board back in. What do you reckon? Okay, the final part is to get the back on without damaging the um, eject mechanism and just going to go on that way up There we go. I think that's it. Well, what a complete nightmare that was. I'd um, unplugged my external mic from my other phone for the last part of the video, and uh, then the phone ran out of space. Um, it's just again too complicated to do these long video fixes, but having put it back together again. It did come into life a few seconds ago. Here it is. I think it might be a problem with the eject mechanism. But it's now working. So I'll have to give it a good test. So I don't know what it was that fixed it. I don't think it was the corrosion because we had continuity on that. Um, it could have been those. It could have been something just needed a good wrap on the back of the uh, of the unit, or it could have been reseating all those uh, ribbon cables. Okay, so this one's working absolutely fine. I've just been out for a walk and been playing it. A great, um, working well. One of my favourite ever tracks. This one, money for nothing. So listening to some dire straits, really, really uh, good. Glad I got it fixed. I wasn't quite sure what had solved the problem, but during my walk, I. Uh, was uh, thinking about what the solution might be and I think I figured it out and then I've come back home and I've plugged in my other one which is older which was working before and now that's not working so let me try and show you the intermittent part where it's trying to work there we go Sometimes it just pops up with LP2 and doesn't work. Okay, so it's not working at all. There we go, so it's a click it, sometimes it comes on. There we go, it's working now. So it seems to be an intermittent fault. So I think I might be putting this in for a repair video for another time.
Yeah, it's just going to play now. I think I know what the problem is with this intermittent fault. And I think it's related to the solution um, on this player, which I managed to fix without knowing why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test both of these players over the next week or so. And uh, if, if either of them fails, I'll do another repair video and I'll just repair that one thing that I think is might be causing the fault. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Um, you know what the drill is. If you click the notification bell, then you'll get notified each time one of my videos goes up. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.